when I was in Australia, I was in Australia until I was about six. I didn't draw at all. I think it was something about moving to Scotland and um, it was almost like a coping strategy, I suppose. A private place to take myself. Because uh, adapting was, was, was tough. I remember standing in a playground when I first started school and uh, not knowing anyone. And just standing in the playground, all these kids playing around, you know, and I'd just be standing there on my own, reading shop signs across the road over and over again, just so I looked as if I was doing something. Uh, I think some kid came up to me and challenged me and said, why are you always reading those shop signs? <laughs> Horsey in the black, this horsey horse is shiny eye. Shapes and clumps of what is that? Horsey big dark eye. Swarm sky and heaven, smell of earth below. Stop still in the silence, smudge of Mr. Crow. I mean, in, in a sense, I think I'm a bit of a miniaturist. When I get ideas, I get sort of sporadic ideas that come quickly, and sometimes they, they, they fizzle quite quickly too. Um, so I, I need to work in a small, concentrated way. As he sat at the Half moon desk, the pennies from his eyes did not fall. Penny time. Ah. The thing about um, a song that I like the idea of is that you can say what you need to say in, in six lines sometimes. You know, and you can convey a mood and a sentiment. All kinds of things that, that a book can do. After that bit, I want him just to like scream because if he's in his room and he's just so frustrated or something, he just goes, ah! broke his pencil and he's just stewing on it and then he just screams and then you know there's a ball of thunder and everything going on for a while and then the typewriter comes on. Alright. Yeah, he's coming down here. Take this tablet. Okay. Ah! 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 Sky. 